we're all looking forward to an amazing championship. It's going to be uh, fun having it hosted at a neutral site for the first time in in our in our history, and it's it's going to be uh, probably uh, a showcase for for Texas and uh, the Dallas area. That uh, we've got the, some of the best gymnastics in in the country right here, and uh, a whole lot of uh, young gymnasts are are going to see some great stuff. Um, I'd like to. Thank everybody in the Big 12 for, for making this happen. It's a big deal. We've been working on this for a long time. And I'd like to be the first to uh, welcome Denver. Because, uh, you know, I, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really cool championship. And it just became even cooler. Uh, so I'd like to pass this on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to, uh, you know, repeat what Jay just said. Um, you know, welcome to Denver. Really excited to have you guys on board uh, for this championship. Uh, you know, we're going to try to capitalize on uh, all of our strengths. Uh, it's going to be a great competition this weekend, and um, we're going to give you guys a run for the money. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no, but uh, seriously, you know, to, to be in Dallas, it's going to be incredible. Uh, it's a great recruiting opportunity for all of us, and um, we're just excited to be able to host, you know, a, an event like this, and especially uh, in, you know, prime recruiting territory for all of us. So um, excited to be here, and, you know, I hope we all hit 24 for 24. Thanks. Um, I just want to echo everything that everyone said. First of all, I think it's first class, the way the arena set up and um, definitely went over above and beyond to make it look amazing out there. And I know the level eight state meet is uh, being held at WOGA this weekend. So we're excited to have all those youngsters and their families um, in the crowd. We've pre-sold a lot of tickets, so we're looking forward to maybe an almost sellout for this meet, and that's really exciting for all of our programs and for the Big 12 Conference, with the Big 12 being, you know, right here. So just really excited about that. Um, Denver, of course, uh, coming into our conference, which happened last summer. It was a um, a very quick thing, and I think we're all excited. And our team has um, had a really good season this year. Um, we've definitely, I think, exceeded some expectations of others. We did lose a great group last year, and uh, a lot of people have stepped up on our team. So I'm um, really excited about the way that they've done this year so far. So, And good luck to everybody tomorrow. Hi, my name is Melissa Kutcher, and I'm the head coach at the University of Denver. I just want to start by thanking Jay, Jason, and KJ, because without you guys and your support and your acceptance, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. So thank you so much. We're thrilled to be here, and thank you to everyone in the Big 12 Conference, um, the resources, the arena, the neutral site. We're just really excited to be part of this conference, and I'm, I'm so excited to put this conference up against all the other conferences in the country. Um, so we're thrilled to be here as far as a team. We're just taking one competition at a time, one person at a time, and really just continuing, hopefully, with that confidence and consistency. So we're thrilled to be here. So thank you to everyone. Um, yeah, we expect Keely to do all around tomorrow. She just had a really mild foot sprain. We rest her for two weeks, um, and she's just done a few things this week to get prepared. But um, as a senior, and obviously great leader leadership on the floor, but also has been there, done that, knows knows how to stay in good shape and training when she has to lay off a little bit. But um, very excited to have her do the all around tomorrow. No, I think we're actually looking at it as an opportunity, and we're excited to be here instead of feeling the pressure. Um, and, you know, it's like, again, it's just been um, such a wonderful conference, and it's been a great year for us. Our athletes, I really feel like, are maximizing their potential. Um, we had two, uh, unfortunately, we had two early on season-ending injuries, and I feel like the rest of the team has really just stepped up and maintained their focus, a great work ethic, been very positive, very coachable, and we're obviously very proud of them. I mean, you know, they have a lot of um, experience in competing, you know, uh, some of them on the international level. So um, I think they're going to be fine. Um, you know, it's definitely been a, a nerve wracking year <laughs> having that many freshmen and sophomores competing. Um, but I think they're going to knock it out of the park. And, um, 
you know, they've definitely shown that they're up for the task, you know, going into this competition. Uh, well, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, actually, I'm not. I, I was hoping nobody would have even noticed. And uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, our postseason uh, fate is is uh, hanging in the balance of this meet. Um, we 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 feel like we we can get the job done. Uh, we've we put a lot of work in. We've overcome some adversity over the past three weeks. That most. Most years you, we don't run into. Uh, you know, we've had a dislocated finger, a broken toe, a torn Achilles, uh, someone out with a concussion, uh, someone else out with uh, mono, um, we, and plus more. So it's it's been very very challenging. But I think the team has come together as a as a group, and I think they're ready for uh, whatever's ahead of them. And as a team, they're gonna they're gonna do whatever it takes to try to get this this job done. So they're they're actually very excited about the opportunity that they have to to continue, and uh, you know I look I look forward to watching them do it. This kind of open to all the coaches, but this is the second straight year the conference championship will be broadcast live on TV. What does that do for the Big Twelve Conference gymnastics and keeping pace with all the other conferences? I I, yeah, I I I'm sure I speak for everyone that we've wanted live TV for for all gymnastics, not only Big Twelve gymnastics, but for all collegiate gymnastics. Uh, we've wanted that for a long time because we know that there is a huge market out there for for this this sport, and uh, you know live is is a big deal uh, for us. Our championship has been on TV for years, but it hasn't been live and. Yeah, I, I, three weeks after our championship is done, when someone's congratulating me, hey, I just saw what you did, uh, great job. I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just is odd to me, you know, now to have it actually uh, going down while people uh, are watching it at home and they're experiencing it as it's happening. That's a big deal. That's what sports drama is all about, and, and that's what we, something we've been after for a long time. I mean, it's it's... It's huge for us because you know West Virginia to, to be able to ex to ex expand our um, you know recruiting uh, market. It's a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but in the Big Twelve territory, that's huge for us. Um, you know, so to have it live broadcast, um, you know, just not only so our fans can see it, um, you know, in Pittsburgh and in the West Virginia area, but to get the West Virginia name, you know, spread across the Big Twelve territory. Uh, is incredible for us, especially considering you know the how strong the recruiting is uh, in Texas. So.